Today I want to share with you a dairy-free ice cream recipe that can be ready in five minutes. Hi sweet friends, I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest where I teach traditional cooking skills for making nutrient-dense foods like bone broth, ferment, sourdough, and more. So if you enjoy learning about those things, consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to click on the little notification bell below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Well, this recipe couldn't be easier. And once you know the basic formula, you can mix and match flavors to your heart's content to make multiple flavors of dairy-free ice cream. The main ingredient that you want is about a pound of frozen fruit. Now a pound of sliced, I'm using strawberries, and a pound of sliced strawberries uh, is basically two cups. Uh, also if you just buy it in a container like this at your grocery store, that's one pound. Uh, so that's an easy way to measure. And I've just cut the tops off. I'm saving them though because if you've been with me for a while, you know I don't like to waste anything. And you can make homemade strawberry vinegar with these, very similar to the way you make apple cider vinegar. So if that's something you want to do, I'll be sure to link to it in the iCards and in the description below. But in any event, you're going to want about a pound of, as I said, frozen fruit. Now don't worry about writing any of this down because if you open the description under the video, uh, just look for the word recipe. I've got it all in caps and there'll be a link there and that'll take you over to my website, Mary's Nest, same name as my YouTube channel, and you can read the recipe online or you can print it out. Now in the case of this fresh fruit, all I did was wash and slice the strawberries into about thirds uh, so that they would freeze quickly. Uh, but you can also use frozen fruit, uh, you can use canned fruit that you then go ahead and freeze, any type of fruit that you want. Now the next ingredient that you're going to want is some type of liquid sweetener. And what I've got here is honey. You can also use maple syrup too, especially if you're making a flavor where maple syrup would be very complimentary. Next, you're going to want a third of a cup of very cold coconut milk. And so that's the basic formula. Your one pound of frozen fruit, your quarter cup of some type of sweetener, and your one third coconut milk. Now for this, I'm going to add in a little uh, vanilla extract. That's completely optional. Other flavors that you may like to do uh, that can be very delicious is frozen pineapple. And like I said, it can be frozen from the freezer section at the grocery store. It can be fresh pineapple that you've frozen or a can of pineapple that you've frozen. You know, just transfer it to a bag, let it, let it lie flat and stick it in your freezer. And then a little lime juice and the zest of the lime and the, with the coconut milk and some sweetener, it's delicious. Now to make this, all you need is a regular blender. Now if you have a high powered blender, you can definitely use that. And if your fruit is frozen in larger chunks, like maybe whole strawberries, uh, you don't need to have worried about cutting them up. I think you can just freeze them whole and throw them into one of those high speed blenders. But I'm just using a plain blender, so you don't need a regular blender, you don't need anything fancy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you that, you know, I just have my strawberries cut in thirds. It was just easy to get them to freeze up. And they were literally frozen in maybe an hour. But this is all going to come together in five minutes. So once we get our strawberries in there, next we're going to add our other ingredients. First we'll get all our coconut milk in and make sure you get every little last bit of that. And next we'll go ahead and drizzle in all of this wonderful honey. And you can keep a little extra coconut milk on hand that's nice and cold. Keep it in your fridge in case you feel you need a little extra to thin this out. But the less that you, the, easy, the more you can get this to blend and the less you have to add uh, the coconut uh, milk, the creamier the final product will be. And then I'm just going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And this is homemade vanilla extract. If you've got it, great. If not, definitely, you know, you can use regular or store-bought vanilla extract. But if you want to learn how to make homemade vanilla extract, and it's very easy to do, uh, I'll put a link in the iCards and in the description below uh, where you can watch that, where I show you how to do that. All righty. Now we're going to start blending this. And we're going to stop it periodically 
and we're going to use our whisk, wooden spoon, whatever you have, to just push the sides down so that we get everything to blend. I'm going to start it slow and then I'm going to work up to a higher speed. Alrighty, well, I blended this for about a minute or so and I stopped it once to kind of mix things around real well. I'll take a picture overhead so you can see what it looks like at this stage. And then I just want to make sure I'm going to get all of those uh, berries mixed in so they can get down on the bottom and then we'll send this for another whirl. Well, I blended this on and off, stopping and pushing the sides down and making sure that the frozen berries would go down to the bottom and so on and so forth. And after about five minutes, you're just going to have this beautiful, like soft serve ice cream. And I'll take a picture and overlay it so you can see what it looks like here in the blender. Now you can enjoy this right away as is, or you can put it in a container, put it in your freezer for maybe an hour or so, and then it'll firm up a little and be more like uh, the ice cream in the carton. So you can store it in a container like this or in a flat container like this. And in the flat one, it will chill up a little faster. Let's take a little taste to see how it came. Look, it's a gorgeous color. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. Well, that's just wonderful. And you really don't notice the taste of the coconut milk at all if you're the least bit concerned about that. It's actually quite lovely. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in here and then we'll put it into the freezer and then we'll scoop some out. Well, I chilled this in the freezer for about an hour and so we'll see how it is now. But remember, you can eat it right as a nice soft serve once you thoroughly blend it. Uh, and you can just enjoy right then and there. But if you want to put it in your freezer and make it a, a little harder, then you can do it like this. So you can take out a nice scoop and just put it down into your bowl. And now we'll take a taste. <laughs> Oh, that's delicious. I think you're going to really enjoy this. I hope you'll give it a try. Five minutes in the blender and you can enjoy a soft serve, put it in the freezer and enjoy more like a traditional uh, ice cream from the grocery store and no dairy. Now, if you'd like to, to learn how to make more easy desserts, be sure to click on this video over here and I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.